Well, hello, welcome to this tour of 18431 Knob Hill Lake Lane here in Humble, Texas, 77346. Uh, this property is listed for 269, four beds, two and a half baths. And uh, let's check out this little, little gem of a property here. 269, that's a good price point. All right, so here we're kind of in a little cul-de-sac section here so this is looking more south that is east and this is looking towards the north and then the west so you'll have morning sun to the afternoon and then the evening will be on the back side of the home it's a very very nice little cul-de-sac street i like how you can Kind of spreads you out from all the other neighbors. Nice big shade tree here in the front yard. A two car pull up driveway, which is nice. And then you have um, a light post. All right, so here is the home. This is a very nice roof looking, looking roof. It looks like they just recently updated the roof. So it looks good. I wish it had gutters. But, you know, you can't have everything, right? Here's the nice side yard. It looks super clean. The foundation. All that is super clean. The siding. Yeah, this looks like it's been maintained well. Alright, well, let's step inside. Okay, so upon entry, we have... Hallway closet for your guests. You have a nice little fireplace in the corner here with a little art nook. You can put a TV on top if you, I guess, if you wanted. Um, brand new flooring. It looks like it looks like tile flooring, and it looks like it's throughout the whole first floor. Um, let's open up the. The window blinds here just a little. So what I like about this is that, so in that room right there is the primary. Um, here is the kitchen and you have a formal dining on the other side. So let's turn on a light here. Oh yeah, this is plenty good size here. So there's the pantry. A little bit of a mix match appliances, but that's okay. Um, dishwasher is easily to be replaced. Uh, undermount sink, granite countertops. Um, these can be easily uh, dressed up and, and made a different color if you wanted to. And you can put little hardware pieces in that if you wanted. Um, and then here's the formal dining that feeds off to the garage. So here is the garage. Okay, this is a good sized garage. It looks like they have a water softener. I believe that's what that is. Um, it may or may not come with the property. So that would be something you need to ask and, and look into. A uh, large sized refrigerator out here. Obviously, this probably will not stay with the home, but if you gives you an idea that you have plenty of space to put one. So what's cool about this little space is that if you don't use formal dining much, you can probably use this in, uh, for a uh, an office area right there, um, and then just kind of use this this area right here for a table if you wanted. But all right, so. Half bath to my left, nice size. And then here is the primary bedroom. As in for size of bedroom, it's a little bit on the smaller side, but plenty big enough for a king size bed and dressers and stuff. And I kind of think this is cool, little 
uh, art niche there where you can put pretties on. And then you have a separate tub and shower. Probably the only, only downside is that you only have one sink. I wish there was two, but it's just one. But it looks like you, you could easily install one if you wanted to. Um, it'll cost a little bit of money, but you could do it. And then here is the closet. Okay. Let's make our way upstairs. I like the stairs being in the back of the house. Okay, so the tile stops here and then it's carpet for the rest of the way up. So you have a nice large hallway, kind of opening more or less than a hallway, but plenty of space there. And then you have a game room space, which is, this is a good size room. I like the high ceilings. Yeah, this is plenty of space for the kids or the family to come up and enjoy movie night, game, de game day. Um, let's see what this is. So here's another bathroom. So it's kind of like a shared one. So here's a bedroom. And wow, this bedroom is almost as big as the primary bedroom downstairs. This is huge. If I was a kid, I'd be asking for this one for sure. And then here's your closet. Very good size room. This is really nice. I mean, I'd be spoiled in this room. Now, I don't like the carpet right here, but that's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. And then here's the shower bath combo with the toilet. Plenty of room for a hamper, for clothes and all that. So that's kind of nice. You can have someone get ready in here while while they're being while they have some privacy in there, showering or what have you. So that's the door. That's the bedroom that we just went into. See that big one. Let's see what these other bedrooms are. So oh, here's the utility room. Utility room is upstairs. Primary is downstairs. So depending on how you feel about that. Just keep that in the back of your mind. And then here. So this room is not as big. It's probably half the size, but it's still a good size room for secondary bedrooms as, the, as secondary bedrooms go. Got a good closet. It's a very good size closet. You can put a dresser in there and save room in here. And then, and here, same size bedroom as the bedroom th uh, three, and equally good size closet. All right, well that's, that's the upstairs. It flows really well. Um, I think they did a really good job at, at putting the layout, probably, probably uh, just for me speaking, um, I wish the dining room was a little bit different, but outside of that, I really like this layout. This floor plan has a lot to offer. So let's check out the backyard real quick. Okay. So there's no patio, but you can always add one. Um, it looks nice and clean house is nice and clean it really is um, if you're looking for a large back yard this is not it it is a decent sized yard um, you can have a you can throw the football around frisbee let the dogs run a little bit but it's not necessarily 
Like I was thinking it'll be a much bigger on a cul-de-sac lot. It's just so you get an idea of what I was thinking there. And then here's your back neighbors. All right, that concludes this tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are looking in the area and you're outside the area and you would like to be able to see more homes, just let me know. Um, I do virtual tours for, for my clients who are out of the area all the time. Um, in fact, this one is for one of them right now, but I just do a general purpose uh, for everyone to enjoy. And so if you find yourself in that situation and you'd like some help with that, just feel free to reach out, make a request, and I'll be happy to do it for you. All right, well, with that, if you have any questions about this home, feel free to reach out, give me a, give me a shout out. Uh, you can call, text, email. Information will be in the show notes for a little bit more details. Other than that, God bless you. Make it a great day and have fun doing it. Bye.